Welcome to Fireside Gaming. I'm Billum, and we are taking a look at Skater Gator. Uh, I actually already played through the demo on accident and didn't hit record. So we're going to try this again, because uh, this is actually a really cool game. I'll tell you that right out of the gate. I'm not even going to try to hide that, make you wait till the end to get my thoughts or anything like that. It's a really fun game. But if you want to see what it's like, we're going to check it out again real quick. There's about four or five levels, including a boss fight. It's a prologue to the game. It gives you a uh, really good idea of how it plays. It's a 3D platformer. It focuses on uh, Grinjamin here, Grinjamin, which is our little gator guy. And the deed to his swamp has been stolen. What was it stolen by? This is the part that kind of surprised me. It's your skateboard. Your new skateboard stole the deed to your swamp, handed down to you by your father and his father before you. Whatever that dastardly demon wants with it, it can't possibly be good. All right. So there's some rail sessions in here. The whole having a mecha gator. Yes, I... I do actually know how to play. That's not the game's fault for giving me a tutorial, though. I'm still going to make mistakes. Um, but, as I was going to say, this game has some very heavy feels where it reminds me of Sonic with the mecha enemy. Right joystick turns camera, left moves. Also, the rail sections give me Sonic vibes as well. But these, like the actual like full-on levels themselves, these make me think more of a Super Mario 3D world kind of level. Okay, so Grinjamin has a dash. We can do that to get over things, go further, stuff like that. Rails are unfortunately only one way. So like if I jump on this rail, it takes me that way. If I jump on it again, it takes me that way. So if you wanted to get back, you would have to platform back, which man, that trash can dude's a little loud. Granted, I turned up the sound effects because they're really low compared to the music. He's just going to tell us about how the we can dash in the air. Like I said, um, the platforming is a little, a little floaty, but I don't think it's bad. And I do think it's the kind of thing that you'll adjust to easily enough. There's our checkpoints or those little frogs with the flags. But yeah, Mario 3D um, All-Stars, not All-Stars, geez, 3D World is definitely a feeling I get from this game. I like this little animation, by the way. This little tail jam he's got going on. I think it's cute. It's lots of fun. Let's see. We're actually going to do something different here. I'm going to go to the level select and then I'm going to select skins because I found this out last time. There is Cherry Cola, which is not Green, Green Jimin's brother. If I have the option, I'm going to play as a red gator because I like the color red. It's my favorite color, so I might as well play with this gator, right? These pads are... You don't want to jump on them. I'll put it that way. From what I have found in my prior playthrough of this demo, jumping is just going to lead to your death. <laughs> They're basically just boost pads that say, hey, Stay on the boost pad. It's going to take you where you need to go. There's some mushrooms like that as well, which are part of what also give me some Sonic the Hedgehog vibes. Ah, oh, man. Nope. Go on back. So these green things and there's blue ones as well will bounce you off. I want to make sure I get. Don't know why I did that. Or that. See, I, uh. I've already played the game, so I even, you know, I'm coming into this with knowledge. 
but I'm still making mistakes. I'm not going to go that way because it's a trap. Okay, like this, going to bounce me over and then I'm going to get hit because I'm silly. There we go. Yeah, this is just a cute little wholesome game. I've been really digging it. So much so that when I saw that my footage for my first run wasn't recorded because I just I brought up OBS and then I forgot to hit record. I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll just go and play the demo again because it was fun and I don't mind doing that. That's what I mean, that right there. Perfect example of a mushroom Ooh. that's designed just to take you somewhere. Same with that one. That's what I was talking about with those kind of Sonic vibes earlier. Nope. I'm going to get it. And I messed it up again. We're doing this. I'm stubborn. I will win. There we go. Yeah, the grass doesn't hurt you, it just slows you down. This is one thing, I could have just gone all the way and came back, but I didn't want to. The game doesn't have... Oh, I missed a piece of trash. The game doesn't have a live system, it has a health system, so you get three hits and you die and you're sent back to your checkpoint like the flag and everything, but it does not have a live system, so you're welcome to make mistakes and experiment and just kind of try and figure out what you need to do to progress. So these eels are electric, and they basically give you an attack. You use your dash, they'll electrify. And I don't think, nope, doesn't look like I've missed anything. As far as I can tell. I mean, unless there was something back there, but I know I said I played through this already and then here I am being like, shoot, did I miss something? Fire bad. Is a trash can out here? Oh yeah, this is the guy who's just like, ah yes, the pollution has caught in too much flooding. But the fish have houses now. So this guy is overly optimistic. I haven't found the G yet. It's probably... did I miss it? I don't know. Up we go. Oh, uh, here it is. That eel had it. And there's our A. Normally, well, actually, you know what? We will do this the way the game wants. Last time when I did this, I jumped from across there to come over here instead of going the way the game wanted. crazy yet because there's still a T. This part messed with me a little bit because 
it's like it's trying to get you to run along these and then get bounced up there, but it just doesn't hit quite right, and maybe that's not what it's going for. But it almost feels like it's what it should be going for. Ow. Yeah, look at that. It just popped me right back on that log, specifically. It, it's really, like I said, it's really good with its checkpoints and whatnot. Yep, that's on me. And I missed it. Okay. Along we go. Dang it, I got stuck on the thing. See, that felt a little better. It still felt a little weird to execute that. I guess I should mention I've been dashing on the board when I'm on the rails a little bit. That is one thing you can do. Speed up your movement. And we're at the end, but we're not going back just yet because we haven't gotten the gator. And we're not going to that way. Try that again. Like I said, floaty controls. I gotta say, uh... Even though they're a bit floaty, this is wonderful. I, I just recently played through Croc Legend of the Gobos on PS1, and oh man, I would rather... I'd rather play this Reptilian's game than Croc again, I just... You can watch the full review, but there were some things that, uh... There were some problems with Croc that, you know, might be addressed in the fact that it's getting... a remaster, I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah, this is our boss fight level. I forgot. And I messed it up, which means I have to start the fight over. No big deal. You also, when you fail the boss fights, you have to recollect everything. It's a, it's a one chance thing. So that's something to keep in mind. That includes the trash and the gator. There we go. I didn't do that my first time doing the boss fight. I missed it. I missed the O, actually, specifically. Okay. Didn't get all the trash, but I got the gator. Prologue pal skin unlocked. Remember when Gringe Gringemin? 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 It's because Benjamin Gringemin, but it's probably Gringemin. Got a new skateboard and it turned out to be an evil robot meant to steal the deed to the swamp. Good times. So if we hit continue, um, it's just going to take us to end because there's no further levels in the demo. As you saw the skin shop earlier, I can now use the trash that I've been collecting to buy a new skin. Changes our skateboard into the Mecha Gator, gives us a little nighttime sleepy hat. And overall, this is a really fun game. It actually says uh, Greenjamin's name in this song. If I was listening, I'd probably be able to take uh, notice what it is. This is a lot of fun. I'm excited for this. I think it's got some very smooth platforming. 
It's very generous with its lives and health and everything like that. I like its collectible system. I like that you're collecting things to buy new skins, even if it's just cosmetic, it's something to work toward. The games that have collectibles that are like that are collectathons and the collectibles are just there to collect to say that you like checked off a box ah th that really doesn't do it for me so actually having some kind of goal to work toward helps me a lot i don't know what collecting gator does i have no idea maybe there's some kind of like you know oh secret bonus levels if you get gator in every level i don't know this does have a very kind of old school feel to it while also being reminiscent of 3D Sonic games and Mario 3D World. It's got a good identity of its own, though, I think. I think it's a lot of fun. I think our little gator guy here is quite charming and a cute little character. This is something that uh, if you're at all interested in it after watching this, you should definitely go play it yourself and get a feel for it. Uh, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is part of my Steam Next Fest thing, by the way. I've got a couple other demos I've played so far. One was called Arc Seed, which was a turn-based strategy RPG mecha game. And then the other one was Solvars, which is a turn-based deck building 2D kind of sprite game that also has a very heavy persona influence. It's got some of the flashiest combat I think I've ever seen in a turn-based RPG, a, a 2D sprite-based one specifically. It's very flashy and very engaging to take part in, and it has a lot of fun combo systems. That's another one that you should go check out, even if you don't watch the video. If, if you're at all interested in that kind of stuff, you should check it out. I said Persona, it also has some kind of vibes with its art style and its general feel of its setting that also make me think of another Shin Megami Tensei series, Devil Survivor. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But it's really cool. You should go either you can watch my video. That'd be awesome. I'd appreciate it. But honestly, if that sounds like something you're into, uh, you should just go play the demo yourself. It's about an hour long. It's uh, it's a good demo. But this one looks really cool. Definitely check this out. I'm going to hopefully look at more demos as part of Next Fest. This is something I enjoy doing. So over the next few days, you might see me upload uh, two or three more demos. So yeah, until then, take it easy.